Hi everyone and welcome back to Cooking in Pink Boots and today I'm making my keto friendly berry berry sauce. It's berry sweet, rich and delicious and it's perfect on just about any dessert like my keto friendly blueberry and granola french toast or take my low carb strawberry and cream cheese wrap to a whole new level with this keto friendly sauce rather than sugar free jams. And what about spread right over my keto friendly cheesecake? then topped with your favorite berries. You got yourself the best looking and tasting dessert on the table. And by the way, all these recipes will be appearing very soon right here on my channel, Cooking in Pink Boots, if they're not on there already. So please be sure to subscribe by clicking the little pink boot on the bottom right corner of your full screen or hit that bell below so you're notified each time a new recipe goes up. And please show you care by liking this video if hopefully you like this video. All right, now let's get started, shall we? You're gonna need two cups of your favorite berries. I went with raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries. Lemon juice, vanilla extract, gelatin, your favorite sugar-free sweetener, I'm using monk fruit, and some ground cinnamon. Now let's start with giving our berries a nice rinse under cold water, then patting them dry with a paper towel. Now here I'm removing the caps off my strawberries, then giving it a rough chop and putting them into a small saucepan with all the other berries. Now here I'm adding five tablespoons of white monk fruit sweetener, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Put that over medium heat, being sure to stir so it doesn't burn. And after simmering long enough for our berries to be nice and soft, carefully smash them down, helping to extract all those juices. And once the juices have thickened, pour through a strainer, getting out all those juices, you can discard the leftover berries or do what I do, add to my berry preserves. Now, here I have a half of a package of Knox gelatin, combined with one teaspoon of lemon juice. Now, obviously, the liquid was not enough to bloom my gelatin properly, so add a tablespoon of water to your teaspoon of lemon juice before mixing in your half package of gelatin. Yes, even I make mistakes. <laughs> Now carefully pour your sauce into a jar or container and allow it to cool completely before refrigerating. And note, if you need to add more sweetener to taste, carefully do it while your sauce is still warm to be sure it dissolves well. Now this recipe made two of these little jars. So just double all the ingredients for double the amount of berry sauce. And once again, thank you all so much for watching. And I really hope you enjoyed my video. And please look out for more quick, easy, and delicious recipes made right here in my kitchen where every day I'm cooking in pink boots with her. Bye.